Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, so please subscribe. For today, we are on day 2 of 30 sunscreens for September and today we'll be talking about the Garnier Even in Matte Vitamin C Protective Cream SPF 30. So I'm going to say this is a sunscreen that's for both oily and dry skin types. So essentially for all skin types and this is depending on how you use the sunscreen. If you're someone with oily skin, I would suggest that you use like one or two serums, maybe skip your moisturizer and then go in with the sunscreen. Then yes, this will be a comfortable absorbed finish on the skin. It's not going to be matte though, despite what's been said on the packaging, but it will be like a comfortable finish that doesn't have any greasiness to it. If you're someone with dry skin who focuses on hydration and moisturizing, the sunscreen will be fine for you as well. So essentially the sunscreen works depending on what routine that you have underneath okay we're now moving on to ingredients so this is a chemical sunscreen and it uses um chemical filters and the four chemical filters that it uses is octocrylene homosalate octisalate and av benzone the sunscreen also contains ascorbyl glucoside which is another form of vitamin c and it is one of the best options when it comes to vitamin c derivatives because it is really stable and it is very easy to formulate and when formulated properly it can penetrate the skin get absorbed into the skin and then it breaks down to ascorbic acid which is known as the pure form of vitamin c but that that um, vitamin C is so unstable, it's very finicky. So yes, that's why we have so many vitamin C derivatives because the original oscorbic acid, pure form of vitamin C, is just very finicky. This also contains caprilol salicylic acid and this ingredient is a derivative of salicylic acid and it was developed by L'Oreal. And this ingredient, caprilol salicylic acid, is a lipohydroxy acid also known as an LHA. LHAs have a bigger molecule size and along with its fatty acid structure it penetrates the skin slower than um, salicylic acid. Studies have shown that LHAs tend to stay on the outermost layer of our skin whereas salicylic acid um, penetrates 58% deeper than LHAs. So this capriol salicylic acid ingredient isn't really considered to be effective when it comes to acne. It definitely isn't as effective as the pure form salicylic acid. Another ingredient that we have here is penilethal resorcinol and this is derived from a pine tree. So this ingredient is a synthetic antioxidant and also a skin brightening ingredient. And this ingredient also works really well with other brightening ingredients so keep that in mind. Another great ingredient that we also have here is glycerin and sodium hyaluronate and we all know these are humectants and they're going to hydrate the skin. So I want to say the sunscreen does sting the eyes so be cautious around that. Keep a distance away from your eyes. It has a cream silky texture that blends into the skin easily. It's moisturizing but it is not greasy. So like I said it is moisturizing but it's not greasy but if you overdo it with the hydration and the moisturizing there's going to be a glow. It has a creamy silky texture that easily blends into the skin and like I said before it leaves your skin feeling comfortable once it's dried down. This is the type of sunscreen I would recommend to people who are like skincare newbies, you know you're new to skincare, you are dabbling and testing sunscreens and trying to see which one would work for you and at the same time you're looking for an affordable sunscreen. I do wish that the sunscreen didn't burn the eyes obviously obviously but I wish it was SPF 50. Um, I don't have a problem with the SPF 30s, I think they're great, if that works for you please continue using it but I find that people who already wear SPF 50 do not put on enough sunscreen and if you don't put on enough sunscreen you don't get the SPF number that's on the bottle. If you're going to wear an SPF 30, make sure that you apply it liberally to make sure that you're getting the ultimate protection. I would also recommend pairing the sunscreen with other antioxidants such as Afrobutin, Q10 and green tea. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the sunscreen. I'm happy that Garnier has decided to give the South African market a sunscreen. I'm now hoping that they would bring these sunscreens from their international markets. They look really interesting and I know you guys would also love them. So we're now at the end of the video. Let me know what you think of the sunscreen. Have you used it? Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Let's have a discussion in the comments. Also, if you have any sunscreens recommendations that you want to see in the 30 days sunscreens for September, please let me know below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button. Bye.